Welcome back guys, it's Ace the Gaming Assassin, and today we're playing Fortnite on Android. It's August 9th, and uh, Fortnite was released today for Android for the Galaxies, um, the Galaxy devices for Samsung. So I've loaded into a couple games just to kind of test it out, and it had to set my HUD up kind of somewhere that feels comfortable for me. And, uh, yeah, we're just kind of, I'm just trying to finish the Junk Junction challenge for this week, which is Search Chess and Junk Junction. I have one more to go. Um, I have yet to win a match on Android, um, in Fortnite, but I have been playing on iOS for the past few months, and I have several hundred wins. Um, I have about, I think, 35 wins this season so far, roughly. Um, so I thought, you know, might as well go ahead and and uh, record some some Android footage. You know, so it's I don't figure there's gonna be that very many YouTubers out that will have footage of games on Android yet. So just kind of wanted to try it out and see what it's like. I, I kind of had to set things up awkward to the way I normally play. I normally play on an iPad, so I play you know claw style with you know five or six fingers and uh, on the phone I'm not used to using my thumbs in such a small area so I kinda had to set things up to where I could use my pointer fingers a lot you know use my right hand pointer finger to, to aim and my left hand pointer finger to to move and then I use my middle finger up here to the top to that, that's normally the jump button so here it's the deploy and undeploy so there's somebody here on, at this llama which if you didn't know the llama counts as a um, llama counts as a chest in Junk Junction so go ahead and pop these shields real fast Yeah, I'm still I'm still kind of clunky. Um, oh, what is this? Still very very clunky. Whew. Yeah, very clunky. Uh, my aiming it was trash there. I have to I'm gonna have to change my sensitivity for sure. Uh, she didn't get any shots on me though, so that's that's good. Go ahead and reload this. In case you didn't know, the dual pistols are trash now. Um, there's no. First shot accuracy. Really? Check? Really? Alright, well. I don't have anything really long range. Alright, this guy sees me. Let's go ahead and pop that mini shield right here. Alright, let's see if we can get into an engagement here and, 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 and with somebody who's decent and win. Man, my. Ooh, the sound is really off. Ooh, ooh, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh my gosh. See, my shoot button's down here at the bottom, right here. And that's normally where my thumb sits, but I was moving my finger, and so my thumb was off the screen, and I didn't get to my... Oh, goodness gracious. I didn't want to pick that up. Yeah, so I'm not really showing off my, uh, my Fortnite skills very well here. Um, I'm playing like hot trash. To be honest with you, um, 
aims all over the place. The sound is really weird. When I start to shoot, uh, the sound cuts out. Um, that's something new that I've never experienced before. I don't know if that's something, an audio bug with just the current patch or if that's a um, Android bug. But I haven't experienced that on iOS. I have experienced an audio bug on iOS with the new shotgun where the new shotgun will be really quiet. It won't, um, when you shoot it, it sounds like it's been muffled almost. Um, almost silent. So, um, but, but I was playing with the new shotgun in playground mode on Android today and I didn't get that audio bug. So I don't know if they're just having issues with their audio, uh, rendering, um, you know, weapon, weapon fire, you know, audio or what, but, um, seems to be a little bit of a bug there. Um, make sure everything's reloaded here. I have a, I don't know how far I have to go. Ooh, I have a long way to go. I'm probably going to die of the storm here. Um, I don't think I have it. I have bouncers, but I was hoping there was going to be a rift over here by this, uh, Easter Island head, but there's not. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, this, this version is real clunky for me still. Um, uh, like I said, I'm used to playing on a much bigger screen on an iPad, but the graphics are way better on this version. I have a an Android uh, Galaxy S9 Plus. The graphics are way, way nicer than the graphics on the um, on the iPad that I was using. Uh, it is an older iPad, so that that has something to do with it. I know that because my wife has a a much nicer iPad than I do. And um, it's the iPad I have is actually her old iPad, and I bought her a new one. And then after I bought her a new one, we I decided to use it, um, you know, as a, just as a as a play tablet to to play to play Fortnite on, really. And um, and the graphics on it are are not that good, but the graphics on hers, she has a brand new iPad. Graphics on hers are really really nice, really crisp, on kind of on par with this. Um, kind of graphic style on the iPad I normally play on you can't go into settings and change the quality up here it's just set on low that's all you can get on this one you can actually set the settings the graphic settings a little bit so that's that's nice um, just a smaller screen is much clunkier for me I still haven't dialed in my sensitivities yet um, you know I've had several months of practice on the iPad so I know exactly what kind of sensitivities I like um, on that screen but this screen is much smaller so I haven't set my sensitivities yet I, I feel like they're a little high well I'm kinda torn I feel like they're actually really good where they're at right now it's just I have to get used to playing with them this sensitivity um, you can kinda see my sensitivity settings are touch sensitivity is 46 target sensitivity is 64 uh, scopes 82, which actually I probably should bring the scope down to like 75-ish. Um, you know, it's, I just gotta get used to playing with these sensitivities, I think. And then once I get used to these sensitivities, I think uh, it'll be a lot less clunky for me. But at, as of right now, um, the button layout is completely foreign to what I'm used to. I'm used to a completely different layout. I'm used to using the hotkeys instead of the, the bar, the, um, the weapon bar, like the like down here on the bottom. Um, I'm used to using these hotkeys, like up here that I'm touching right now. I have all those set up, basically where you see this, these buttons, the um, the build button and the backpack button. That's where I have all my hotkeys normally set. And then I have my shoot button, kind of where it's a similar place to where it is right now, and I use my thumb with it. But my jump is normally way down below where my crouch is right now. And then my crouch and my aim, aim down side are pretty much right where they are right now. That's, that's pretty pretty much the same. Um, and then my my emo button's actually up above. So my weapon conf my weapon layout and my, my HUD layout is actually much different than I'm used to. I'm not used to jumping with my middle finger like up, up there in the top. I'm not used to that. That's completely different from what I'm used to. Um, I have no shields and I'm at 75 health. I'm, I'm gonna die 
any engagement I get in, I'm pretty much dead. Oh, upgraded shotgun. Ooh, see, I didn't need, I meant to hit my, um, I'm so used to the little bug that you get on, on, uh, iOS where you have to hit your, you have to hit your backpack open and close to pick things up, that I went to do that with my middle finger and I actually hit my, my build button. Which actually, it would, it would be a pretty good idea to have my, my ramps out. So I set my ramps to be the default, um, ooh, blue Tommy. Nice, upgrade. Ugh, less ammo though. Sorry, don't have any ammo to refill it, so I had to stick with the green. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I, I, it's good to have your ramps as your default, for me here at least, because I do have the hotkey right there for the walls. So I can just go straight to my builds if I need to ramp quickly, but if I'm getting shot at and I need to put up a wall, I can hit the hotkey really fast. And uh, typically, um, I get that with my middle finger. It's a little clunky. I'm, I'm probably going to move it to actually next to the pickaxe because I can use my middle finger easier on the pickaxe, see? And even when I do that, it kind of shifts my character because I'm I slide my finger slides a little bit to the side. So, it, I don't know, everything is a little clunky, a little weird. Like I said, I've only been playing with this for about an hour. Um, set my HUD up and just kind of went into playground and played around a little bit. I played a 50v50 just to kind of see how it would be in actual combat. And I got wasted by a no skin almost immediately just because I couldn't I couldn't engage properly. Um, those two kills you guys saw me get, those were my first two kills on Android. So, um... You know, you guys were there for that. Um, we're in top 13 right now. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna go up here because I actually need to see if there's any ammo. Chug jug. That's good. I will trade. Uh, see, I said I'd open my, I'd open my uh, inventory up. See, still getting it on Android. Thought it was just an iOS thing. I thought it was just an iPad thing because. I heard him shooting the new P90. And I was like, ooh, I'm going to go get that. Legendary one, too. He didn't have much of anything else for me. Okay, let's go ahead and hit this chug jug. I know this is kind of risky doing this out in the open, but I can see if anybody's coming and typically can hear them. Top 10, three kills. Um, that just goes to show you really um, how just kind of landing out of the way of everyone is really it's really bad man you can get in top 10 on mobile so easy Ooh, I'm getting a little bit of lag okay I see somebody he saw me I think yep he saw me nope he didn't see me Ooh, aim was better aim was better aim down sight definitely um, so he had a scar for me, sweet. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that since it's easier to do it that way. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the pump, pick up, pick that up. Three med kits. Reload the Tommy. Didn't have the Tommy reloaded before. That's that's dangerous. Four kills. Um, I think I just completed a challenge. There's a challenge this week to get three kills in a single match. I feel like there's going to be somebody coming over here from the right. I have yet to have to need to build against anyone. Um, I could have built against that guy, but he didn't look like he was the greatest player in the world. And I'm not jumping like I normally do. See, everything is just a little clunky. I'm playing really newbie. 
Yeah, my vertical sensitivity definitely needs to come down. Um, I'm, my my sight keeps dropping. Okay. Let's switch over to the scar. I was gonna hit him with the P90, and then I remembered that they reduced the the range of the P90 quite drastically recently, to where above a certain range. Uh, three med kits is better than two minis. Above a certain range, it's it's virtually non-existent damage. I feel like I hear someone. I don't see any footsteps, but sometimes I can hear people when they're crouch walking. Okay, somebody rifted. Oh yeah, my vertical sensitivity is trash. There's probably somebody in that base to the left. This guy just rifted up there. Um, I don't know if he was rifting to scout or if he was rifting to get hide advantage on someone. Yeah, there's definitely somebody right there. Ugh, ugh. See how my how my aim just like shot up into the sky. As I was trying to um, look. Definitely, definitely s s slurp over anything right now. Oh, there's still somebody here. Jeez, okay, so he saw me and he didn't take his shots. He had hide advantage. Um, definitely in that situation, when I heard him above me on, on you know, normally on... Um, on uh, iPad, I would have definitely built up. He had only had 25 health, so if I would have had built up to him and boxed myself up and, and took cover, um, I definitely could have beat that guy. He he only got a couple of um, he got another one more headshot than I did basically um, to get that extra 25 damage on me. Um, so yeah, real clunky play. I know it, it was not the greatest. Um, I am better than this, I promise you. If I can figure out a way to record gameplay on um, iPad, I will record some of that just to kind of show you guys how I normally would play. Um, but until then, I'm just going to keep kind of practicing on Android. This guy is really terrible. He had three kills, two kills before me, and he's just, he's not very good. Definitely, definitely not very good. Um... He doesn't have the carbide's lights or mask. Well, he doesn't have the lights, so definitely didn't max out his carbide. Um, he, just because he doesn't have the mask doesn't mean anything, but uh, normally if somebody's rocking without a mask, they at least have different colors to show that they maxed out their character. So this guy is not very good on Andrew, on mobile or whatever platform he's playing. Um, let's view our match stats, though. We did get top 10. So we got the placement bonus, extra 100 XP placement bonus. Um, survival time to 230, got a few eliminations. Um, so total XP, just placing in top 10 with a few eliminations, over 1,000 XP, that's that's really good. That's kind of what I try to aim for every time. I'm not so much a, um, I like to win, obviously, but the win doesn't really give you that much more XP. It's only a few hundred more. Um, try to go for as many kills as I can normally. Um, oh dang, that guy has the new shotgun too, and he and he's left it. Um, I just try to strive to get my XP as high as I can. I do have the max battle pass already. Uh, I did purchase some tiers, so before anybody asks, I did purchase about 40, 40 tiers or so. Uh, maybe even a few more than that, maybe 50 um, tiers in total. I did get the 25 tiers at the beginning when you buy the battle pass if you spend the twenty five dollars um, and then I did purchase some tiers throughout the throughout this the coming weeks after that but um, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay I know I've been rambling a lot um, I don't know how long this this recording is going for or anything but hopefully you enjoyed it uh, I'll try to get some more out I know it's been several years since I've posted anything on my YouTube but um, I haven't really been playing any games uh, Clash of Clans kind of just died for me and uh, Clash Royale was the same so I never really felt the need to post anything on those games um, but Fortnite has been the past couple months the game that I've really been 
um, having a passion for, and so I definitely want to. There's somebody building on this guy. Yeah, yeah, this guy's definitely not too good. I heard, that, I heard that person coming. I heard him coming be while he was aiming down sight, but I wasn't sure if it was somebody, somebody walking up on him or if it was him moving around. But I could hear her, hear her walking on the ground. Um. So yeah, so Fortnite's been my passion. She's in the top two. She doesn't know where the last person is. That last person is to her right. It's the no skin that the carbide was sniping at. She's probably going to win the game with uh, three to four kills because the no skin may die to the storm. We'll see what happens. The storm shift is very, very deadly if you're not paying attention, especially the second storm shift, this one right here. It's a, it's a hard shift to the right. She's on the far left of the, her, the storm is on her, close to her left. It's a hard shift to her right, so if she's not paying attention, oh yeah, she won. Well, uh, GG to Ninja BS. Uh, game to them, getting four kills. I could have won that game if I was on iOS for sure, but uh, we'll keep working on it. I'll keep practicing on Android. I may need to tweak my HUD a little bit, but we'll get there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Have a blast playing <laughs> whatever you're playing. See ya.